my race back. People say they're killing shit, but they ain't did the D yet. Yeah. Every shot I take is been going in. I need a heat check. I'm the one with the high hand going hella deep with it hot down. Like we can do a movie. We had to shoot at my shooters and knock down. Hell no, I ain't about to leave. Yeah. I ain't making to the league yet. Yeah. I'm the best kept secret. I need a I need a I need a heat check. We here to get the label up. Now we up and running. Every year has been a blessing, but 16 always been a number. Sports. Read it now. Arrived. Dude, this place is so closed. They got one gate open to get the employees out. The employees are leaving with their lunch. I am such a terrible person. Yo, look at that thing. Dude! What is going on, dang fam? It's your boy Mike Diesel. Back with another COVID edition vlog. So today, I wanted to make this a nice special video, but um, literally I'm trying to buy a whole ass bike with like no minutes left until this place closes. Right, right now, Jacksonville. But this whole floor space is huge. It sucks for my foot because I had an injury last Friday. So we did the first giveaway bill back in November. We just finished it up about a month ago. And I told you guys around August, I want to do the second giveaway startup. And um, the bike that we ended up deciding on was a FZ07. So my boy Omar, right here, called me a few hours ago. And I drove my happy ass three hours up to Jacksonville. I know, dude, I gotta pee so bad. I was trying to find you first. So, he plugged me in on his bike. I see you got the Jixer, boy. But, well, he's got the braids, the stretch and lower Jixer. My man changed on me real quick. With my stump bike tag, baby. <laughs> hey, it's registered, though. So yeah, I didn't uh, plan on grabbing one this quick, but the deal came up and uh, we're gonna find out if it works out. And. If everything works out, this place is badass. I haven't bought anything here just yet, but this bike is uh, not the perfect bike, but it's the perfect project. And um, one good thing is it's not a broken frame, it runs and you can ride it as it sits. So that's gonna save us so much more downtime that we had uh, on the previous build. So yeah, if everything works out, I'll be swiping my business credit card, maxing that puppy out and bringing this bike home, AKA buying it cash. <laughs> Stay tuned, peeps. Man. Got a little treasure chest over here. Here she is. Oh! That thing is something else. Wow, so as you guys can tell, man, she's all there. Just has some dents and dings, but what better way to pimp her out and turn her into a stump light? This is literally a perfect idea right here. My oh man, Oldman Metalworks can make a nice little seat for It's so crazy, they sit so low. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I think the bike is lowered from the pier. Oh, okay, it does look lowered. That's like crazy low. I can like, I don't even have to like no, throw I it. <laughs> I could. No, this is perfect for me being crippled. <laughs> the blue bars. Oh my God, they look good in the video, but I think these are like eBay specials. Oh, yeah. Is it eBay specials? I feel like these things will snap yanking it up hard enough oh yeah the owner has the keys to it oh yeah oh it's it's like an employees or something no 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 what do you say the owners yeah the, the owner oh, oh the owner okay okay i was like what no, no, no. i'm guessing this is like a trade-in or something man no this would be great for me man yeah, i appreciate yeah. it as as I just needs a little bit of love uh just to get a quick mental here it's a 2017 yeah, 17, uh, we're gonna get the key in a second, but it has 11,000 miles, which is right around the borderline where I wanted to be at with this bike. And um, good thing is it's been ridden by, um, looks like a normal rider and um, 11,000 miles, respectably ridden, nothing too crazy. Hasn't been a stump bike off the rip. And um, it's, it's kind of questionable if you should ride a bike to full stunning when you first buy it. So, so 11,000 miles, dents and dings perfect perfect base but uh we'll go through it got some scratches on the front master uh, on the throttle cables right up here in this little shroud here i imagine these plastics are pretty cheap and there's not a whole lot to them residue of some sort there some other kind of residues some scuffs here and there um yeah really really dusty yeah 
Um, that pipe, <laughs> the pipe is gangster, but I don't know. It sounded fucking crazy on the Snapchat or the uh, video you sent me. I think I got some scratches here. A couple goodies as far as tail light and stuff like that. But yeah, man, she's all there. I guess the uh, last thing to do is talk to the boss, man. See if everything checks out. And even got lucky with the case too. We might be able to buy like a case cover because I think it covers all this up. So rather than try to replace it, maybe replace it, depending on how cheap they are. Um, but yeah, it holds fluid and everything. Solid. You said the motor or the uh, title was clean? Hell yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah. Most dealerships don't. Awesome, man. So we're what me and my buddy like to call us is the scratch and dent special. <laughs> so we're about to scoop us a scratch and dent special, uh, 2017 FZ07, August, I don't know, it's like August 5th or 6th, I don't even know, I lost track of time. Um, but yeah, beginning of August, we're starting this build right here. It's gonna be sick, people. So uh, join the Patreon if you guys are new to it. Basically the way it works is every dollar a month that you pledge is an entry. And at the end of the build, whatever the whole time frame was, we're gonna go ahead and use that many entries that you've pledged the entire course um, for the final drawing. And uh, basically, the last guy that won was just a normal dude, five months in, and he ended up winning, so we'll see. You know, Ruth, we can't show this part of the video, but thank you, sir, so yeah, much. We got it. the giveaway bike. We're gonna go find Omar on these cameras. Gotta get some B-rolls while we're here. Look at that. Blessing. Yeah, that color is blessing. I just, I could see someone wearing that with like a bright ass Hawaiian shirt, chest hair popping out, shorts above their knees. Got the Jixer family. You gonna show me how to wheelie this thing? Show you how to wheelie what? The bike I just bought. No, it's been laid down more than once. Exactly, that's plenty of time for you to practice. No. They do a really good job with these Yamaha colors. That thing looks fuzzy almost. It's such a weird texture and look. Shiny. All right, we're gonna find this thing I just bought. There's Omar. Oh damn. That thing is insane. Then we got the other big boy. Now that is a freaking side-by-side. -side. These gotta be like 30 inch wheels. Yay. I don't even know if I can shift the gears yet. <laughs> look at it. So beautiful. They never sounded so good. Yes. challenging we're gonna have to figure out what parts of the bike to actually update figure out which bikes eh. anyways bike runs great right so we just got to figure out what to like swap around on it to like make it look minty again because there's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff weathered on it so the biggest task on this is going to be to fix all the weathered parts and basically restore it because for being three years old this bike looks like at least 10 years old it's so dusty like look at this Brand new. <laughs> so big shout out to my boy Omar. This happened in a few hours, people. He called me. He called me a couple hours ago and said, "Yo, come down and get it." So we got it. But yep. That's gonna wrap up this video. I wanted to make it quick, straight to the point. Get you guys back to your lives. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and all that good stuff. Um, super blessed. Even though I'm injured, I'm not gonna lie. I got 20 stitches in this leg. Uh, I don't know, less than two weeks ago. And I'm thankful to be walking again. Um, I literally couldn't walk like three days ago. So God is good. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. 
but this is going to keep us occupied i also have two other little projects to work on i'm just i'm just getting all these projects and have no time to even really get on it but you guys motivate me like no other um hop on the patreon if you guys want to be a part of this build it'll explain all the details how you guys uh, enter and all that good stuff but someone is going to win this bike in the next couple months when we build it into a stump bike so stay tuned dank wheelie patreon build series part two fco7 gang gang and like always keep it dank later what is going on dang fam it's your boy Matt Dazel. we are back at the tampa lot it's been a hot minute since we've been here yeah and uh two weeks ago i went ahead and ate it in chicago so this is my first time back on a bike and what better bike to be on than the new giveaway bike the 2017 fz07 people this is my first ride on this bike people and also first test on the new mic to see if i'm getting any audio because that's been killing my vibes lately uh the whole weekend in chirac i didn't have any audio so it's just basically a bunch of wind noise but uh nonetheless it was a sick ass trip besides putting 20 stitches in my leg so here we are we got this old dusty fc07 she's got some scratches here and there but everything seems solid um all the parts are there shifts and everything else so i figured uh we'll do our first ride back on a bike come on just enough juice to get it started hopefully we charge it up we got hang gang rob out here your boy kevin trenton and then des here is still healing up her foot bars feel so janky so they have like rubber grommets in them and they give you a little bit of a wobble to it yeah buddy <laughs> all right so the front tire is pretty trash on this and we're in a dusty sandy lot so we got to be careful Everything feels very clappy on it. I want to lie about that. Wow, the suspension is terrible on this thing. I don't know if they changed it on the M207s, but it feels like mashed potatoes pretty much. The engine brake on these bikes are what people love so much. Like literally one of the easiest bikes to do a lot of uh, no handbrake tricks on. Safely, I guess you could say. So whether you're like a dirt bike, guy transition into street bike stunts um, this is a great bike for that or just someone um, that's on a budget building one of these bikes that's why a lot of people are liking them so let's talk about why I picked the FZ07 uh, the main reason first and foremost is because the patreon fam all decided uh, mainly that this was the bike they wanted me to build next um, but the reason why is because these are becoming one of the most popular stunt bikes out right now um, the FZ07 started in 2015, so only five years out now, tons of people are riding this bike. Uh, a lot of stunt companies are out making stunt parts for this bike. And um, the fact is, they're very cheap bikes from the dealership. Very uh, cheap online. If you get them secondhand, you get tons of money off on them. Um, and on top of that, they're just a very cheap bike with insurance. But since it's a newer model, the insurance on these bikes are ridiculously cheaper than like say a full fairing sport bike like an R6 or 636. Um, so as an average rider, if you're just trying to get a, a great daily rider and be able to have the opportunity to do wheelies and maybe piece on some stunt parts like crash protection just in case you drop your bike riding to work, uh, these bikes are perfect. And then when you want to go full force into stunt riding, you can go ahead and uh, get all the other parts added onto this bike. Um, but at the end of the day, one thing I really liked about this, uh, not only are they a cheap bike that get the job done, they actually have a very great sound to them. And uh, I don't know, it's a girthy sound. It's not a light sound. Even though it's a, a smaller engine bike, it definitely has a sound to it. That thing nasty, you got that two-step with it. Just trying to slow it down now a little bit. I'm purposely kind of chasing him out, just being easy on it. My man over here is coming straight at me. Oh, the engine brake. You feel that? Jesus, well, I guess you can't feel it. It's such a good bike to have out in a pack of bikes, though. They sound cool. Let's get a little road. 
road test real quick. All right, zero miles an hour. Wow, this suspension is sketchy. Shifting, uh, shifting like first to second, I could feel like the back end scooting. I could feel the back end shift one way and the front shift another. Man, this bike likes to get rowdy, but uh, I guess being a naked bike and the, the seating position on it, it's a lot more friendlier of a feel when you're getting a little, uh, as my boys like to say, slutty on it. chill out for the day the grom's the go-to stump bike but if you want to have some dignity rock the fz07 while you're chilling out that day i'm kidding i don't i love my grom don't think i'm hating on groms and big shout out to ride now in jacksonville they hooked this bike up awesome business with them Gearing, man, what do you need stun sprockets on this thing for? I probably should have said this in the beginning. So, just to clarify, guys, this is the second bike that I'll be giving away on the channel, uh, more specifically on Patreon. So, Patreon is just a spot where you can throw in extra money to support your boy and all of his traveling adventures and crashing bikes and all that good stuff. On the plus side to Patreon right now, though, this bike is going to be given away in the next few months once we finish building it into a stunt bike. So, if you go to Patreon, you pledge a dollar a month for X amount of months that the build takes, you take the dollar times X amount of months and that's how many times your name's in the giveaway raffle once I go ahead and pick somebody. So it's pretty cool because you can pledge whatever dollar amount you want and um, basically pick and choose what your chances are to win this bike uh, depending on how much you put in. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to join, link in the description, but I'll definitely be keeping the main YouTube channel up to date when we uh, start to build this thing. But man, this bike is sick, people. I really can't wait to uh, go ahead and hook somebody up on it. Yeah, but besides some sit downs and some knee knockers, that's about all I got on my sleeve until I'm fully healed. I'm just thankful to be on one wheel. guys that's gonna wrap up our first ride on the fz07 giveaway bike people so the cool thing about the patreon people is you get a chance to enter to win this bike but also most importantly this bike isn't designed by me it's designed by the patreon family so i go ahead and throughout the course of the build and get your guys opinions on colors and parts and everything else that we should add on to this bike and basically just make it one of everybody's bike this bike's got so much potential it's a newer platform that people are starting to jump onto so it's going to be an amazing uh, bike that someone's going to win i hope you guys have an excellent rest of your week if you enjoyed the video feel free to like comment subscribe hit that patreon if you want to join the fam and uh like always keep it dank but there's nothing dripping off the bike so that's a good sign Touch, nigga. I know. I've been dealing with so much, everything's wrong. Really regretting, I'm trusting my mom. Scared the fans won't f these songs, my nigga. I